Parents of Reddit, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever caught your child doing? Story 1. Little brother of a friend was expelled from kindergarten for pulling a girl's pants down and giving her a quick kiss on the vagina. Story 2. When my son got to the age when boys start taking curiously long showers, I thought it would be a good idea to check the browser history on my computer, which he often used. I really just wanted to make sure he wasn't delving too deep into the creepy side of the internet, but what I found chilled me to the bone. Initially, I was surprised to see that, at the age of nine, he had already learned how to cover his tracks. There was literally nothing even slightly untoward left in the browser history. I was somewhat pleased at how clever he had been until another thought occurred to me, and I checked the other browsers, confirming my worst fear. He had been using Internet Explorer. Story 3. Playing a video game while supposed to be doing homework, switched to porn when I walked in. Story 4. I have two disgusting young boys. My first child was just under two when my second son was born. About six months after my second son was born my now two-and-a-half-year-old found the umbilical cord my wife was saving, completely different story, but long story short. I was not aware she was saving it, and was not happy with her, and was eating it like a piece of beef jerky. It was the most foul-smelling thing ever. We caught my youngest son, just over a year at this point, in the bathroom eating the older boy's poop out of the toilet after he had forgot to flush. Needless to say they're fucking disgusting. Story 5. I worked at a YMCA as a camp counselor, and we had to separate a sister and brother who shared a tent, siblings were allowed to be in the same tent even if they were different genders, because they were having sex. Loudly. They were 15 and 17, so they should know better I would think. Story 6. When I was a kid I covered the entirety of my genitalia, ball sack, shaft, tipped the whole nine yards, in Crayola blue marker. If that wasn't enough, my family was in the midst of moving houses and my parents were conferencing with the realtor at the dinner table, you know, when they still did that. From there, I proceeded to unveil my grand masterpiece of sapphire schlong for dear mom and dad, an embarrassed realtor guy, to see. If that wasn't enough, I went to my room, changed, and ran outside making it no more than 10 steps before stepping in dog shit and then tracking it through the house. Story 7. I've told this before, sorry. We caught our kid, my stepson, inserting a small balloon pump up his ass. When questioned, he said it was to help him fart better. And yes, we warned him about just how dangerous that could be. We also caught him standing on his window sill, pissing out of his bedroom window, rather than going to the bathroom, as he was too busy with cod for. His bedroom was literally next door to the bathroom. This was all a few years ago, when he was around 12. He borrows his mum's Nexus 7, as does his sister. His sister went into his room to get the Nexus, the other day, he's 17 now, he was asleep with the Nexus lying next to him. His sister brought it downstairs, unlocked the screen, and the browser was open on a chicks with dicks porn site. Must have wanked himself to sleep. When asked, he said, just mixing it up a bit. Fair play. Story 8. My niece decided not to poop in the toilet but do it in the tub, while her brother was taking a bath. So we took a picture and I have it framed for when she turns 18. Story 9. When I was about 7 I had drawn eyeballs on my balls, and pushed both up until they were next to my shaft, creating eyes and a nose, I then walked into my mother's room naked laughing, and began to push my dong up and down making sniffing noises. I found my mom and began showing her my puppeteering masterpiece. I'm sorry mom. Story 10. When I was 4 or so my parents woke late at night slash early morning to hear, ooh he's naughty he's so naughty, coming from the living room. After investigating they found me sitting on the floor watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Story 11. Not a parent, but speaking for my mom. Me and my brother used to take baths together when we were really young, four and five in this case. After we dried off we started jumping on the bed naked. Then my brother tells me to put his penis in my mouth because it would be really funny. I told him, okay don't pee in my mouth, and my mom walks in on us laughing away, my brother's dick in my mouth and does absolutely nothing and leaves. Story 12. My daughter, six years, pulled this one on the November 18th. She came home on the 17th and noted that I can fit my whole hand in my pocket and she can only fit half her hand in her pocket. The next day she stuck her hand in a boy's pocket at school to see how deep it was the teacher saw it and thought she was grabbing his naughty parts. Long story short I'm currently living with my father-in-law because my child isn't considered to be safe around me. I feel pretty embarrassed and angry right now. Story 13. When I was about two, I pulled some poop out of my diaper and was apparently just walking around with it in my hand. My grandfather saw me, and held out his hand, demanding what I had, and I, 
being the obedient kid that I was, gave it to him. He never asked again when we carried in our hands. Story 14. I can't remember this, but I am regularly informed. When I was two I was in a hotel with my grandma and granddad, my granddad had a shower and dropped his towel to dry his hair. I ran up to him and grabbed his balls shouting, W-O-B-B-L-E W-O-B-B-L-E W-O-B-B-L-E. Story 15. I left my then 14-year-old daughter in charge of watching her two little brothers while I made dinner. She chose to go on Tumblr instead, and the youngest, who was a little over a year smeared shit all over the TV, some toys, the carpet, and of course himself. Story 16. My son is two and so far the worst thing is wanting to poke our cat's butthole this one time all the time. Oh yeah and I heard her meow weird once from the other room. I washed his hands. Story 17. When I was three years old, my male cousin who was also three taught me how to pee like a boy, aka standing up and peeing forward. So I called my mom, my aunt, and my grandma into the bathroom to show them. That story always gets told at family gatherings. Story 18. I'm not a parent but my mom found lesbian porn on my computer and flipped out on me about it. She didn't understand why a straight teenage girl would watch two girls. Story 19. My little brother flooded the toilet once and for a couple months he was scared to use it. Any time he had to take a shit after that he did it on the back porch right next to the sliding glass door. He got away with it for a while. We thought it was the dog and my brother even claimed that he saw the dog poop on the porch. My mom was at the neighbors and saw out of their window my brother squatting with his pants around his ankles. He's 20 now and we still never let him live it down. Story 20. My little sister was a bad sleepwalker. I was woken one night by a motionless silhouette in the middle of my room. Turned the light on to ask her WTF she was doing, and she proceeds to squat and piss all over the carpet, all the while keeping a stone-cold, unblinking stare locked right on me. Some exorcist shit right there. Story 21. Not me but my mom is a fourth grade teacher and one day she turned around from the whiteboard and saw a girl, hand down her pants furiously masturbating his class. When she asked what she was doing she just said, it feels good, she called her parents to tell them to talk to her about it and apparently this wasn't the first time. Nor the last. She's been caught multiple times and the parents have no idea what to do. Story 22. My brother and I were homeschooled. That week we were covering ancient Greek games and mythology. Being eight and six years old, we decided to recreate it. When my mom walked into our room, the first thing to grab her attention was the soggy carpet. The second was the two of us, naked, drenched in stolen massage oil, locked in fierce combat. Nothing sexual about it, but we wrapped up ancient Greece pretty quickly after that. Story 23. I've said it on another thread, my son was two at the time. We were eating frosted flakes out of the box, sitting on the couch. He was nudie, it was his always naked phase. I just happened to look over and see him wiping the flakes on his penis, then eat them. I say, noop, really loud and reach to grab the box from him. His eyes widen, he knows I'm going to take them, so he starts frantically grabbing all of the pieces that fell around him on the couch and furiously rubbing them onto his penis the jamming them in his mouth. It's a story I'm saving for my toast at his wedding. Story 24. I am the child in the story, not the parent. When I was about 10 or 11 years old I was an oversexed little girl. My bedroom was in the mezzanine of our family apartment, and you had to climb a little set of stairs to get to a partial wall. That means whoever's on the other side can hear everything that's going on in the bedroom extremely clearly. My dad quietly walked up the stairs to wish me a good night right as I was enacting out loud both sides of a scenario where a man was taking my virginity, and I was protesting because it hurt too much. It was very overblown and dramatic, and I repeated it several times before I realized my dad was frozen on the other side of the door. He quietly backed down the stairs while I fell silent. We never mentioned it. Story 25. Jesus Christ, people, are you raising barn animals? Shit everywhere. Poking pets buttholes. Oral sex. Masturbating before adolescence. Sticking things in orifices where they clearly never belonged. WTF. The most embarrassing thing I ever caught my child doing was cross-dressing, and what makes it embarrassing is the talented little shit is better at it than I am. Story 26. Taking my kids to the park. Anytime we go, they usually each find a park friend and spend most of their time playing with that child that day. So this time, my youngest daughter, eight at the time, brings her new park friend over with her grandfather to introduce me. She starts talking about me, what I do as a job, 
how much she likes her stuffed elephant, the games we play, and then she says, very matter-of-factly, almost every day he beats us. K awkward look from the other girl's grandfather. He of course has no idea that this is referencing the regular roughhousing wrestling I do with my kids that usually ends with me buried under a pile of children and crying for mercy. Awkward moment passes, the kids spend a few fun hours playing in the park and I start rounding them up to head home for dinner. As she is hugging her park friend goodbye, my little one says, I'd say, see you later, but he almost never lets us out of the house. It had been well over 100 degrees heat every day for a couple of weeks, so we hadn't been letting the kids go out in those temperatures. That day had been the first non-triple digit day in a while so I made sure to get them out to play, but of course she didn't bother to explain that part of it to the little girl or her grandpa. I almost felt like I needed to check and see if he was following us home so he could report me to DHS. Story 27 I am so glad I finally have some people whom I will never meet in person to share this story with. My six-years-old niece, who is actually my cousin's daughter, along with her baby Tenemo old brother were all hanging out. I decided to be the cool uncle and chill with them while their mom and dad went out on a much-needed kid-free date. So there we are, watching Mulan, eating popcorn, when my niece says, I have to go to the bathroom. She jumps up and goes into the bathroom, shuts the door like a lady. Twenty minutes later she is still in there. I knock on the door, you all right in there? Ah, uh, ah, uh, what? I'm having some trouble. I open the door and dear mother of God and all the saints in heaven, nothing could prepare me for what I saw. There my niece stood, pants around her ankles, with several q-tips lodged in her little lady parts. What in the blue hell are you doing? I saw mommy doing it the other day, which, come to find out the q-tips were feminine hygiene products. So, I explained to her, after I made her remove them all, why her mom was doing that and that it was a special kind of q-tip she put up there. That was an awkward report to give her mom and dad.